contract. Jonathan will be a TAM player uh, starting next season, which if you're familiar with our rules, is a player who's, uh, who's over the salary cap and this mechanism to uh, um, uh, where the team, um, uh, it's a hard thing to, to, to explain, where the team uh, pays the money over and above the salary cap. Uh, this will, you know, Tim and I have talked about this, will make Jonathan one of the highest paid Canadian players in the world. Um, he's well deserving of it. 16 goals and six assists this year in all competitions. He's almost played 3,000 minutes. Uh, leads our team in plus minus this year with plus 11. So we are, we're a better team when Jonathan is playing uh, and on the field with us. Um, the message uh, that our organization wanted to send is, is Jonathan Osorio is, is going to be with us long term. We want to reward players who, who excel. Um, and I want to compliment Tim Bezbachenko. Uh, Tim led these negotiations over the last four months uh, with Barry McLean from Bestwick Sports. And, um, you know, and I'll compliment Jonathan. You know, week after week, as Jonathan performed this season, um, Tim and I kept looking at each other and said, we can't let this guy go. And Jonathan had other opportunities out there. Um, and we're very appreciative that he stayed with us. Um, you know, we, uh, uh, we, we think Jonathan is going to be a leader on this team uh, over the next few years, and we think he's an incredible role model for Canadian players. Um, and uh, I want to compliment you again on all your hard work. You know, Jonathan went through, um, he was a starting player for us since 2013, and last year um, found himself on the outside of the 11. And, and with, with hard work, um, he, he, he would about six or seven games last, left in the season last year. Um, he got back on the field and there was no looking back. And, and Jonathan is a player who we've seen has completely brought his game to another level. Um, and so we're incredibly pleased to, uh, to have him here and to um, you know, award this contract to him, which is well-deserving. So, Tim, please uh, take it from there. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Um, and thank you to everyone for, for coming today. Um, I, I really could not be happier and more excited about, um, you know, uh, signing, re-signing Jonathan Osorio and, and having this player uh, in our crest and in our uniform for the, for the foreseeable future. Um, I mean, when you just look back at his career and from 2013, he's just gotten better and better each year. And as Bill said, a lot of the things, uh, it comes down to, to his passion, uh, his, his desire, his work rate on top of his talent, right? I mean, that's why he is an example because it isn't just talent that has made Jonathan a great player. It's his desire to get better every single day in terms of someone who comes to work uh, with a mission to improve, right? He's one of the first in, one of the last out. He's a great example for, for any young uh, Canadian who's looking to not just break into the game, but continue to improve. He obviously, as Bill said, he, he leads our, our team and and now in, you know, in history of minutes played and appearances, um, but, but it's more important than just getting on the field. It's actually, can you help the team win trophies? Um, that's what we're here to do, and that, that's what the club wants, right? And so over the last few years, we obviously qualified for the playoffs, um, but, but he's helped us take us to new heights, right? We've won uh, not only MLS Cup, but we had two appearances. We got to the CONCACAF Con Champions League final, a number of Canadian championships. Um, and along the way, he was recognized, right? He, he was MVP of this year's uh, Canadian championship, Golden Poot in the, in the CONCACAF Champions League, which is competition across our entire, you know, continent. It, right, and so because of that, um, he was, uh, you know, desired by by many clubs. Um, and so over the last few months, it's been, um, you know, we put we, we put our heads down and and really tried to find common ground because as we look to not just build anymore and win, but what we're trying to do as a club is to sustain. Right, we're we're, we're entering into a, a new era where where um, you know, for the first eight years of the club, we didn't have this tradition of success. And as we evolve as a club, there's no one we would want more than someone like Jonathan, not Jonathan Osorio with his passion and his commitment to, again, to, to, to help take this club to new heights uh, to be along with the ride. So um, as Bill said, he's met every challenge, right? We entered into this DP era, and Mike and, and John, Jonathan was already here. He met that challenge, right? We entered into the TAM era, where we went and acquired players in his position, uh, and, and he's met that, 
uh, met that competition and rose above and beaten out players in his position. And we're, go we're always going to try to uh, create competition at every, at every position. So, um, you know, I'll stop talking in, uh, effusively about, about John and let, uh, let you and, and Greg talk. But, uh, but at this time, I just want to congratulate you and, and um, we're very happy that, that you signed a contract with us. Thanks. Thank Yeah, um, first off, I just want to thank uh, Bill, uh, Tim, and Greg for, um, you know, putting their trust in me and uh, getting this deal done. Um, it's It means so much to me. I, I know they know how much it means to me. Um, and honestly, uh, I'm just, I'm really happy that we got this done. I'm really happy that I'm going to be home. Um, I worked really hard to be at this point, to to make it to this point, and um, saying that, um, I'm not done. Um, there's a lot that I want to accomplish, and um, there's a lot that I want to accomplish for Toronto, for the city, for the fans, and for this team. Um, so I'm just so thankful, sorry, I'm, I'm pretty nervous, and I'm just uh, thinking about um, the steps that I took to get here, you know, it wasn't always easy, obviously, and, um, you know, obviously last year was really difficult, and just uh, to get on the field in that sense, but, um, you know, I got to play on a team with so much competition that helped me get to the level that I am today, so I'm actually grateful for every single step that I've taken so far in my career, and um, now it's it's to take more steps, it's to to become a leader for this team and, and to help this team bring trophies, which is the most important part of why I wanted to stay here. I want to keep making history here in TFC. Um, I want to make this team the best in North America, and I want to help make this team known worldwide. And you know, people may or may not look at me crazy when I say that, but it's possible, and I'm going to do everything in my power to. Uh, make that happen. Uh, yeah, congratulations to, to Johnny. Um, I know this is uh, still just another step in, in the direction that he's going in terms of his game and the quality of his game and what he brings to this team. But uh, I'll just say from a coaching standpoint, if, if we had a team full of Jonathan Osorio's, we would be uh, in a good place, no matter what. He just shows up to work every day. He gives us everything he has every day, every, whether it's training, whether it's soccer, tennis, doesn't matter what it is. He's always playing to win. He's always competing to win. Uh, whenever you talk to him about his game, he's passionate about, like you said, getting better, adding little things, working every single day, um, <clears throat> learning the tactical side of the game and talking through it. So for me, it's it's been a joy to get to this point. I think he's earned every cent that he's going to get. and. I look forward to continuing to work with him and, and the potential that still is there to, to grow with this team and help lead this team to, again, more championships and, and more, uh, more wins. Let's start there and uh, continue to grow as a group. But I see him evolving again into a leader in this team. Uh, again, you can lead from a position of example and from a position of just your passion and desire to want to be successful for your city and for this club. and. Uh, I think everybody looks at them in that way anyways already. So uh, it's just a, a new a new opportunity, and the only thing that's different now is you get a little bit more money. But everything else stays the same. So. Thanks, guys. We're now open for questions. John, uh, congratulations on the new deal. Was it a difficult decision? You're obviously at a time in your career and a season where you were attracting attention from overseas. Was it a difficult decision to make to stay here and also uh, your season has been so good it doesn't seem like any anxiety of your future was there but beneath the surface was it a kind of a, a concern for you as to where you were going to go next was it bothering you um I tried really hard in all this time to not really think about um like where I was going to be um obviously <laughs> I've been getting asked the question for the last few months, and it's, and I, to be honest, uh, most of the time I would say I don't know, and I was very truthful that I, I really didn't know. 
um, but I was just trying really hard to focus on this season, and um, I think that's what ha that's what's helped me uh, continue to perform every day. Um, a difficult decision. Um, I think just you know when you have options, you you don't want to you don't want to make the wrong one, and um, it was just about uh, you know. I wanted to stay here. I wanted to stay here. I've I've always had dreams to go abroad, but I saw a uh, a challenge here too, and I think uh, there's a big challenge here that I really want to take, and and uh, and I think that challenge will open a door actually for the future of this sport here and for kids, and that's what I want to be. That's what I want to be remembered as, and um, you know people always say that like you have to go away to get better, but. I think I'm getting better here. I have all the resources to become the best player I could possibly be here at Toronto FC. Um, and, and you know, along with, you know, the guys beside me doing everything they can, which was more than enough to say, okay, I definitely want to stay because they really want me here. Um, in that sense, it wasn't that difficult. Um, so it had always the only difficult part was that it's, it was a dream since I was a kid to leave but now a new dream has has come to me and um, uh, a challenge that I'm, I'm really ready for Jonathan you're clearly having an incredible season arguably the team's MVP it wasn't so long ago last season that your frustration in your own play was evident uh, beyond the soccer tests beyond the hard work what did you do and what did you tell yourself to kind of get to this point where you are now? I was just, uh, I think I just kept believing in myself. Uh, I knew last year was, you know, it was difficult. There's a lot of competition in the team. Um, players are playing very well. And unfortunately for me, the the team that started doing really well and, and getting into a rhythm, I was not a part of that team. And so... I, I knew what I had to do. I, I knew that if I kept working, my time would come. And um, slowly, I, I, I gained my confidence back. And honestly, not really much change other than just putting more focus and more hard work every day. Um, and believing in myself. I think believing in myself was the biggest thing. Believing in that I'm a good player and believing in, in the things that I'm capable of. And um, once I really started to do that, Things started happening, and and then I gained confidence, and 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 I never looked back. To follow up, Greg, I mean, we've asked you a number of times about Jonathan, but what don't we see about you know the transformation of a player from someone who wasn't in your eleven to again, arguably your MVP this year? Yeah, I think um, every first of all, every player is sort of on their own journey through you know, their career. And, you know, last year it wasn't necessarily for John when he was not in the lineup. Like you said, there was part of it was there was a group and the chemistry in that group was just working and it was and it was off to a good run. Uh, and I think this was documented last year. I think initially Johnny took it and was pretty emotional about it, I would say, very frustrated. You could see that in his training. And then there was just a really evident switch that he no longer was in this position of being frustrated and he was just getting on with the game and focusing on what was important. And, and I, I remember almost the day when you just saw the switch from him and he just became, again, focused on what matters, which is his performances. And then I was like, I got to get this kid back on the field again because he's back in the right frame of mind. He's going again. And about then he got a chance and it, I don't think he's looked back ever since. But it was, he took, it was an initial reaction that a lot of, players will take when they're when they're used to being in lineup and not but for me it was a huge step forward for him because I, I think with Jonathan his passion and his emotion sometimes come into his game sometimes in very positive ways and sometimes in ways in the past that we've talked with about having to control that and it was almost like going through this process he really learned how to put that aside and just really focus on his game and his performances and I think he is grown immensely just in the last year but I, but what it comes down to for every player and this is I say this to all of our academy players he plays to win every single day no matter what it is he puts his heart and soul into every single play in training 
uh, and you have no choice but to get better when you have that kind of approach as a player. He's open-minded. He takes feedback well. Uh, we talk about the game. He knows what he's thinking and, and when he's playing. And you, you really have no choice but to get better. And he knows who he is as a player. And that's what being a, a great professional is, being, is about being consistent all the time. I know when I put Jonathan on the field what I'm going to get. I don't think I expected to get 16 goals this year. But I know what I'm going to get from him from a performance level every game. And every coach wants that out of their player. I know he's going to compete. I know he's going to be great on the ball. I know he's going to create things on the attacking side. And he's grown as a defensive player over the last four years and his defensive work in midfield. And he's become a complete player, in my opinion. And that's just a tribute to his hard work every day. Tim, maybe you could just talk about what it means and the importance of what you're trying to build here in Toronto to have a local kid like Jonathan come up, you know, 2013 to this team and stay in Toronto with the top Canadian players. What does it mean to have him stay home? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I touched upon it a little bit earlier, but as you're looking to build a roster, it's, 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 it's what we've seen over the last two or three years. It's, it's not just about talent. And we can talk about how we built this team to compete in Champions League and how we are always looking to improve. Um, but what we've also seen is, is it takes a group that's willing to sacrifice for each other, uh, willing to uh, you know, celebrate the wins and learn from the losses. Uh, and those things are, are sort of wound up in a you know, character ball, so to speak. And, and, and when you talk about guys with character, and um, uh, you know, Jonathan comes to mind right away. Right, it, it's 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 what we've talked about already. When when the player is knocked down, uh, and he's not confident, does he fight back? How do they respond? And that's truly what what character is, right? He's, you know, we're we're this year has been a challenging year, and Jonathan is the one who's been stepping up week in week out and putting it together, uh, not just good performances but great performances. So, in terms of how we want to build our roster and 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 create a team that just not doesn't just look good on paper, but actually performs together collectively. Um, it's, 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 it's humility, uh, it's passion um, that, that go hand in hand with talent. And, and it's exemplified by, by, by Mr. Osorio.